the first measurements i'm taking are the bust under bust and waistline and these are for reference and then after that i'm going to go ahead and draw out or mark out the shoulder and the armhole all right guys so just a quick introduction and explanation to what this video is going to be so we're going to take this tutorial step by step i'm going to start with the upper half of the milkmaid dress and then after that we can go into the lower half and then the sleeve just so you could properly understand it because it's actually a very easy dress to make at this point if you're not subscribed please make sure to hit the subscribe button like this video so the video can get recommended to others leave a comment down below and let's continue with the tutorial the next measurements i'll be taking will be 4.5 inches at the waistline from the center front line and that will be for the dart and the dart is going to be one inch wide so from that that line i took 0.5 inch to the left and to the right to make it one inch and the dart is going to be five inches high and i'm just going to connect the two dots i made to that five inch mark So the next measurement I'll be taking will be the round measurements and I'm going to be dividing them by 4 whatever I get I'm going to add 1.5 seam allowance but another thing I'm going to add at the under bust and waist line will be whatever I have taken out at the dart so at the under bust line the dart area there is 0.5 inch so I'll add that back into the measurements and the with the dart line there is one inch so i'm going to add that back into the measurements before i finally take my 1.5 seam allowance so in order to start forming the cup i'm going to take one inch at the bust line away from my seam line and i'm just going to connect that to the under bust line at the dart in order to form the other half of the cup I'm going to take 2cm above the under bust line at the center front and I'm just going to connect that to the rest of the measurement. I'm taking 5 inches for the neckline which is quite high because I'm going to be folding it in while sewing so it will give a lower neckline so that the 5 inches would complement for that. So I've traced out the back piece and I'm just going to set it aside because we'll be coming back to this later. Let's focus on the front piece for now. Alright guys, so after separating the three pieces, I'm going to place the cup piece on another pattern paper so I can slash and spread it because with the milkmaid dress style, you could see the area, the cup area is actually gathered. So I'm going to slash and spread to give more, um, more allowance for the gathers. 
and I'm just taking one inch in between all of them. So these are the pieces that we'll be using to cut out the fabric now we can go on to finishing with the back piece so now we can go on with cutting the neckline of the back piece and i'm just going to measure however low i want it to be and then i'm going to cut it out there is actually a dart on this back piece because we know we use the front piece to cut out the back piece and the front piece has that it's just that it's not marked out so now i've cut all the pieces onto fabric and this is what i have now and then i'm going to go ahead to join only the lower pieces and then after that i could continue with the cup So after joining the lower pieces together, I'm going to go ahead and join the cups together and I'm going to sew halfway through it and then fold the top and create a tunnel for the passage of the straps and I'm also going to gather it at the bottom and you're going to see all of that in this clip.
all right guys so for the gathers i'm going to be gathering only the bottom of the cup i won't be gathering the sides just the bottom So now that we're done with the front of the upper piece, this is what we have now. Now I can go ahead and continue with the back of the upper piece. And for the back, what I'm going to do is fold in the neckline and I'll also be sewing the dart. So after finishing with the back, we can go ahead and attach the back and the front pieces together and I'll just be sewing with the seam allowance that I took earlier. Alright guys, so this is what we have for the upper piece now. Now we can go ahead and use this to cut the lower piece. So I folded my material in four in a way that I would be able to cut the front piece and the back piece together, together with the zip allowance. And then the first thing I'm going to measure out is my length. And then I will take the waist measurements at the top including my seam allowance. And I'm just going to connect those lines. I didn't measure how wide the bottom is. I just went with the flow. <laughs> so yes. So I'll separate the front piece. Set it aside. And I'm going to create a slit on it. Because the front piece has slit. And I'm going to create the slit at the same level. As the dart on the upper piece. So to sew the slit. I'm going to start sewing from the top. And I'm going to stop wherever I feel is okay and then i'm going to go ahead and fold the edges of the lower half of the slit So after sewing the slit, I'm going to go ahead to join the front and the back pieces together with the seam allowance. Ok 
okay so i went ahead and i attached the upper and lower piece together and then i went ahead to attach the zip and this is what i have now and then the final step is cutting the sleeve and attaching the sleeve So this is how the sleeve is looking like and I'm going to go ahead to fold the edges that is the top and the bottom. This is how the bottom looks like two seam lines and this is how the top looks like one seam line and I'm going to pass elastic through the tunnels that I have just created. So this is what I have now. I'm going to go ahead to sew the sleeve together leaving only space for the armhole and then I'm going to use the armhole of the sleeve to attach to the armhole of the dress. all right you guys we have come to the end of this video i hope this video was helpful if it was please don't forget to hit the subscribe button turn on your post notifications like this video so this video can get recommended to others leave a comment leave your questions down in the comment section thank you and i'll see you in my next video